Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun. Here's your channel's TV morning news update for July the 28th, 2019. The lawyer to the leader of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, Mr. Femi Falano, says the action of the federal government to proscribe the Shiite group is immoral and illegal. Mr. Falano believes that the move is particularly opportunistic on the part of the Sunnis occupying public offices to use the instrumentality of the state to liquidate the Shiites. He therefore asked the government to withdraw the prescription order. But to security matters, the Consular General of Nigerian High Commission in Johannesburg, South Africa, Mr. Godwin Adama, has petitioned the South African police authorities following an attack on a Nigerian, Tayo Fanero, by two policemen. According to the chairman of Nigerians and Diaspora Commission, Abike Dabri Erewa, Mr. Adama has also met with Fanero, who is the latest victim of attack on Nigerians by South Africa's law enforcement agents. Meanwhile, President Mohamed Buhari has mourned President Beji Kaib's Ezebsi of Tunisia, who he described as a father figure in his country. While the Nigerian president urged Tunisians to find encouragement and solace in the legacies of their late leader. On the international scene, the Libyan authorities say they have recovered 62 bodies so far after a wooden boat carrying hundreds of migrants capsized on Thursday. According to Libya's Red Crescent, search operations are ongoing to find other missing migrants. The UN Refugee Agency, the UNHCR, has described the incident as the worst Mediterranean tragedy of this year. And in sports, Juventus FC say they are preparing an offer for Manchester United striker Romelu Lukaku and are willing to include Paolo Dybala as part of the deal. The City R side made a bid of £53.9 million upfront for Lukaku with no add-ons earlier this week, but then United rejected the offer. Now, the Premier League side have been negotiating with Inter Milan for the Belgium international, but the clubs remain far apart in their valuation of the 26-year-old. And that's the morning news update. Don't forget to join us later for the recap. I am Ayotunde Balogun. And thank you for watching.